we have seen protests in the past. And one of my biggest concerns is that, you know, attention is at this issue now, but that it will fade. So, you know, how do we work to make sure that this is not a fad, that the energy is harnessed, and that we see actions? <clears throat> Excuse me, I believe that we can't be silent. Uh, we have been afforded an opportunity to be able to allow our voices to be heard for the first time. I'm working in the corporate arena, I have been for over 25 years, and this is the first time that many of us are having a given, being given a platform and a forum for our voices to be heard. Our children need to know it. Uh, we, it's a, a rich heritage that they need to be proud of uh, through the telling of our stories to keep it lit from generation to generation. We can't afford for our light to go out. I would echo what Daphne said. I think, you know, we are in a position now where um, we must be vulnerable in all aspects. Um, we must be comfortable with being uncomfortable. We need to now be in a position where we are sharing and having those conversations outside of our circles. Um, and that is, that is a, a, a position of vulnerability. Um, and I know in, in being in leadership and being in conversations in my organization, it has put me in a place where I have been the most vulnerable that I've been in my entire career. I know just on social media, I saw a lot of people posting things and raising awareness. It lasted for about a strong week, but now it's like, now what, you know? Um, I think it's super important for us to just stay informed. I believe the only way we can make sure the momentum doesn't die out is if we just continue conversations like this where we're feeling hundreds of other people and then giving them the foundation to continue raising awareness to the situation, protesting, signing petitions, voting. Um, these are all ways that we can make sure our voices are heard.